In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Home tab and the Alignment group on the Home tab. Um, we've got some sample data here and we're going to start off taking a look at the horizontal alignment options here. Now when you do numbers you almost always want those numbers to be right aligned. Uh, that's just the way we used to see in numbers and it lines up the the ones columns and the tens columns and the hundreds columns and so on. So uh, normally you're not going to mess with numbers, but you may want to change the alignment of text. By default, text is left aligned, um, and uh, you don't have to have anything selected up here. It just does that by default. Uh, if I want text to be centered, I can center it, or if I want it to be right aligned, I can right align it, or if I want to go back to being left aligned, I can left align it. And I actually like to have, when I've got a label on a row, I like to have that right aligned so it's just a little bit closer to the data that it describes. Uh, also up here uh, we've got some column headings and they're headings, they're text headings over columns of numbers and it looks kind of funny to have the text over here and the number over here. So we're also going to right align those. Okay, And you notice, see what happened here, we lost uh, part of our label here, it's not actually gone. If I click on it, it's still all there. But because I'm right aligning now, uh, what flops over is, uh, the first part of it is flopping over into cell E instead of the last part of it flopping into uh, cell G like it did before. Uh, I've also got some vertical alignment options. Usually this doesn't matter. Um, but if you have a, a row that is really tall for some reason, let's select all of our labels here in row one, uh, you may not want to have everything down at the bottom. Uh, you can have it aligned at the top, you can have it aligned in the middle of the cell, or you can have it aligned at the bottom of the cell. So these three buttons control vertical alignment, these two buttons control horizontal alignment. Uh, you've also got some options for rotating text. And I don't know if you actually need these very often when you're doing stuff in Excel. Um, you know, I don't I don't use them all that often. Uh, you can rotate text 45 degrees. Uh, you can do it a negative 45 degrees. You can uh, make it vertical like that. Um, you can uh, turn it, rotate it up. You can turn it and rotate, rotate it down. Or if that's not enough options for you, you can go here and you've got an option over here. And unfortunately, this doesn't do a live preview but I can wrap it around any amount I want from you know plus minus plus 90 to minus 90 okay and I'm just gonna go back to ordinary and horizontal uh, you've also got some options here uh, for horizontal alignment uh, left center and right and then there's a few other options here that you probably don't need to use very often uh, we've also got vertical alignment options uh, indent comes in kinda handy sometimes um, this will let you increase the left indent a little bit. So if you've got something that's too far left and you want to move it over, but you don't want to right align it or center it, uh, you can increase the indent a little bit by changing this value right here. Uh, you can also turn wrap text on. You can shrink it to fit. I'm going to choose shrink to fit here. And uh, this is something you're probably never going to have to worry about. And then click on OK. And you see what happens when I choose shrink to fit? It makes percent of budget as small as it needs to be to fit here, which doesn't really look very good, so I'm going to undo that. And then I want to go back to normal text alignment, and actually that's not even an option here. So what you have to do is go here and just set this on zero, click on OK, and there we are. And I don't need all this extra space here, so I'm going to double click between row one and two and that will do the same thing that double clicking between columns does. It'll make the row exactly as tall as it needs to be to accommodate the text that's in it. Now we've got a little problem here with um, percent of budget and that is we can only see the word budget and part of the word of and that's when you want to do something like this. This is the wrap text option and what it does is it wraps if there's multiple words it'll wrap the next word down onto the next line and you know at first here, let's undo that for a second, first here it just put one word per line probably because I didn't have this quite wide enough. If I widen it and then go here and double click it makes row one just as tall as it needs to be to accommodate that. Okay. Uh, another option for alignment here is I'm going to insert something first here so we got a blank line up on the top and we're going to put, uh, we're going to call this our budget. Okay. 
and I want this to be centered over all of my budget here which is columns A through F so what I want to do here is I want to choose merge and center up here so I'll click on merge and center it merges all six of those cells into one and takes the text that was in A1 and centers it. It's always going to take whatever text is in the leftmost cell here and use that to center. Uh, now this is one place where using the cell styles comes in handy and I want that to be a uh, title so there's a built-in style called title and that's what it looks like. If you change your fonts or if you change your color scheme um, it will probably look a little bit different. Okay, another thing I might want to do with something like this is another style over here. So I've got some heading styles. Now these are a little bit big for what I've got. Um, heading 2 or Heading 3 isn't too bad. I don't like Heading 4. I like to put underlines under my column headings. I'm going to do Heading 3 and these are also headings so I'm going to actually go over there too and uh, make that heading for I think that would look kind of funny if I had uh, underlines on those so we'll do heading 4 for that so this is the same size font and the same color and everything as the stuff across the top here in row 2 and the last two buttons up here now I already uh, mentioned these when we pulled up the dialog box but let's uh, I didn't look at them up here on the ribbon. Uh, let's go back here and left align these instead. Now it looks a little funny again, but that's so I can show you what these buttons do. Uh, these will increase the size of the left margin within the cell there for you a little bit. So uh, it can move them over uh, a little bit at a time. Every time you increase this, it pushes them over a little bit. Every time you uh, click on this one, uh, it pushes them back a little bit but uh, I'm not going to mess with either one of those. I'm just going to do right alignment on these and I think that probably looks the best. Now again we've got a dialog box launcher down here but this takes us to uh, the same area that we saw before when we were up here looking at the uh, uh, the rotation of the text. So almost all of the stuff that's available here is something that can be done up here in the alignment group so you very rarely need to go to the format cells dialog box if all you want is the alignment tab because you can do most of it right here and that's pretty much uh, everything that there is to know about the alignment group on the home tab and in uh, the next video we'll take a look at the number group over here